Welcome to this video about the linked module. Linked elements in impact are elements that we don't have a module for, for example, stairs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stair for this building. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a geometry of the stair and we're going to extrude that geometry. After we have extruded the geometry to the correct width, we're going to 3D rotate it so it gets the right orientation. Now the stair has the correct width and orientation. We're going to create a link definition. The definition here contains the information about the element, for example, the material, what group it should be part of, and etc. We're going to give it a drawing type and drawing template. After we have created the definition of the linked element, we're going to attach the link to the definition. Go in here, find the definition and give it a name. The information here about the element is used in our production uh, system. So I'm going to fill that in so the production system knows how big the element are. After we have created the element mark, we're going to select the element mark and select the location of the element. We select the object, 3D solid, select the insertion point and the rotation. After that, we insert the element mark. It asks if you want to insert more elements. I do not want to do that. After that, we go here and we're going to move our element into the correct location like this. I'm of course going to update my building so the element gets the right location. After that I'm going to create a shop drawing of my stair and as we can see here in the shop drawing um, it's actually empty. The reason why it's empty is because a linked element uh, does not get a geometry uh, on the shop drawing. We have to do that manually. But it's possible, as you can see on this shop drawing here, um, it's possible to add the casting materials so you can get the casting materials in the table. It's also possible to add reinforcement if that's what you want. Then you can print it out on your reports. As you can see here in the project manager, do our linked element gets the correct geometry. And that allows us to compare them and see how the connections are with the other elements.